Mayor Saeed meant to you. I know that you were in court today. Just talk to us about that. Uh, this is rough. It's really rough. Um, Officer Saeed was not just an employee. It was like a brother to me. When I first came to Melvindale to start campaigning as mayor, he didn't even know me yet, but yet he was running the streets for me day in and day out, passing out flyers because he knew that I wanted to make a difference for the police department. He was the first one to my campaign party uh, the day of election, had the numbers already, and when he walked in, he said to me, Mayor, we did it. It was just so overwhelming, the amount of support not only from the community but from the police department. I'm the first candidate ever to be endorsed by the police department. So I was truly honored to win the election. So the very next day we, we got to work. I wasn't sworn in yet but we started coming up with a plan of what we were going to do, how we were going to turn the police department around and he was by my side all, every step of the way. I was in church the day I got the call. I was told an officer was shot. I didn't know that the officer was killed. I didn't even know which officer, but I prayed all the way from church. Obviously, I love all my officers, but there are a select few that are close to near and dear to my heart. Uh, Mohammed Saeed was one of those. I got to Oakwood in 94 when I received the call from the Dearborn Police Chief Joe Murray, and he said, I'm sorry, Off Mayor, your officer has passed. I didn't even know who it was yet. When he told me who it was, I had to pull over. I couldn't even drive. I couldn't see. I was crying so hard. So I went to the scene, touched base with the chief because I was the one that called our police chief to let him know. I met him on scene, and uh, we needed to get to work. We needed to find the person that killed not only our officer but killed my brother. How hard was it for you to sit in court today and oh. see that, that video as well? It was. It was rough. Um, just super thankful that he didn't suffer. Um, it was pretty quick. Um, it's, it's just an awful, awful thing that happened to our city. And then to see his family as well, their reactions to watching something like that. I'm with them like every other day, making sure that they're taken care of. Um, we uh, escorted Yusuf Saeed to school this morning. Um, hope he has a wonderful year and makes lots of memories. I felt Mo there. I felt the sun shining down. I felt him there. So it was, it was a good day. What do you want this community to remember about Officer Mo and what he stood for? <sighs> he lived and breathed law enforcement. He wanted to be a police officer as a young child just to make a difference. Um, he was going to change the city of Melvindale one criminal at a time. Obviously, you can see from the video, this all started from flicking a cigarette. Um, this is not something you did in our community because our officers were always there to make sure that you were following the law 100%. So um, he died a hero, and I, I want the community to remember him as a hero and for us that are still here to carry on his legacy.